the royalty of college football is in assembly at the Rose Bowl 2006. Bush, Liner, Young, and their legion. By consensus, the teams rank one and two with nary a whisper of dissent. The site for this ultimate showdown in college football is one of the famed arenas of sport, the Rose Bowl, where the festival of postseason play was started more than 100 years ago in the city of Pasadena, California. When the 2005 college football season started, all 117 Division I-A teams had high hopes this would be their year. Now two are standing unbeaten. One, the two-time defending national champions and determined to stay there. Touchdown, USA! The other, wanting to bring it back after a 35-season absence. The Southern California Trojans found out about life in the catbird seat quickly, week after week, taking the best shot from each opponent. And they beat back the challenges. And SC is right back in a bad line and score. And the Trojans will win the ball game. In the second week of the season, Texas walked into the horseshoe for the first time against the Ohio State Buckeyes. It was a raging battle, but the Longhorns pulled it out. And the rest of the season passed without a serious threat. Say goodnight to this one. Now, let's go. The route is underway. And now there is just one game left. One game that will be as big as a college football game can be. The Southern California Trojans and the Texas Longhorns for the national championship tonight on ABC Sports. The University of Texas Longhorns into the Rose Bowl. From the state capital city of Austin, the Longhorns since 1893 have won 799 football games. Only Michigan and Notre Dame have won more among Division I schools. Their 12-0 head coach is Mac Brown. Eighth season for him. Now the Southern California Trojans. Defending national champions, their 12-0, a 34-game win streak, looking for their 12th all-overall national title. Pete Carroll finishing his fifth season as head coach, record going into the game 54-9. There are two Heisman Trophy winners in the backfield. These two teams, 1-2, you bet. Dan, let's talk some football now. Let's talk about the level of talent we're going to see on the field tonight. Uh, couldn't get any better than tonight. We've got the two most dynamic players in all of college football ready to put their special mark on this title game. In Reggie Bush and Vince Young, we have one more chance to see something uniting and very, very exciting. Both these players will bring you to the edge of your sofa. Both these players are going to try to bring a title to their football team. Without a posse, how do you stop them? Well, that's the biggest problem, Keith, because you can have the perfect plan. You can have the perfect scheme. Be in position to tackle them. They will make you miss. The key, gang tackling, the only way to stop these two great ones. What about those two old black clouds that hang around college football? Turnovers and the kicking game. Well, Texas clearly has the edge in the kicking game, but in the turnover game, nobody is better than USC in getting the ball and giving to their great offense. This football game has everything in it in the preamble. Can they live up to it, you think? Well, you know, Keith, I see so many similarities between these two teams. I don't see how this game cannot be a great one. There are just too many great leaders on this field. There are just too many great players, and there are too many great coaches. Are the defensive guys getting a little tired of all this hype about the offense? Maybe they'll take over. I doubt it. This is an offensive game, Keith. 50 points a game for both of them, over 500 yards in offense. Holly Rowe. I'm here with Coach Mac Brown. Coach, what is the biggest barrier Texas must overcome tonight to beat USC? Holly, I think the biggest thing is just keep playing. They've got such a great team. They've got such good players. They're going to make their plays, but we've got to keep playing whether up by 21 or down by 21. What do you expect tonight? The defense has been overlooked, but what do you expect from your defensive players? I think they're going to play their hearts out. All right, let's go to the other sideline with Todd Harris, who's with Pete Carroll. All right, thanks, Holly. Pete, what is the thought you want your players to leave the locker room with just moments ago? We want to make sure that we come out here and play the game we're capable of playing. That means to play like we do things like we do, play with a lot of fun doing it. 
With so much time off, are your players ready to defend the crown? Uh, these guys are ready to go. They're so ready. They've been ready for a long time. So with this kind of atmosphere, I don't know how you could expect for more. This is just an extraordinary opportunity. We're going to go for it. Thanks, Pete. We'll talk to you at halftime. And the famous old arena is packed. I mean packed. Just getting here today was an ultimate challenge. Texas will be in the white. And the Trojans are the home team. Reggie Bush coming out. He will be in the return position because Texas won the toss and the Longhorns chose to kick off. Greg Johnson will do the kicking and Reggie Bush will do the returning if they kick the ball to him. But my only expression at this point is we're going to play football. <laughs> I thought we'd never get here. Interesting that Texas won the toss and elected to defer to the second half. Interesting in the fact that they have that much confidence in their defense to hold down this man, Reggie Bush, and this SC offense. Now it's put up time. They kick it to him. Two yards, three yards deep in the end zone. He's coming. He gets to the 10, he gets to the 12, and down he goes, brought down by Robert Killebrew. And there are a lot of frontliners playing on both of these special teams, and the special team edge considered goes to Texas. Matt Leinert is the senior, 37 and 1 as a quarterback, and that should be enough to put him into the yearbook. He also has a Heisman Trophy from last season. He has 98 career touchdowns. He has all the plaques and trophies that he needs. What he wants tonight is his career best game. Wayne Jarrett, Steve Smith, and Chris McFoy are on the field. That's McFoy going in motion. And the first play of the ball game is Bush trying to bounce to the outside. And Texas was all over him. The backs and receivers for USC. Reggie Bush, as far as I'm concerned, just say wow. Dwayne Jarrett, 81 receptions with 15 touchdowns. Steve Smith is also a big timer in big games. Offensive line, I think this is a major strength of the team. Latoui, the only senior, tackle to tackle, they are a load. Lindale White checks into the ball game now, the big back. It is second down. Second down and 12. Leinert taking his time with it, drops straight back, throws quickly, gets the ball away to David Kirkman, the fullback out of the backfield, and Kirkman will pick it up to about, uh, about seven yards on the play, Terrell Brown. Texas defense along the front, Roderick Wright's an All-American, his tackle pal, Frank Ocam, they're both 315. Linebackers Aaron has, uh, Harris had a spectacular game last year against Michigan on this field. And the defensive secondary, this will be almost without question the best secondary that Matt Leinert and his teammates have looked at this season. It is third down and seven now. Patrick Turner checks into the ball game. He's number one. Leinert stays under center. Bush moves over. Leinert straight back, pressure coming, gets the pass away, threw it as Smith was turning, and Smith turned a little short, and the ball sailed over his head. Ocam was on to the Trojan quarterback in a hurry. Keith, you talked about the speed. We saw it on special teams, and then three plays and out, and now the punting team comes out. USC, as you can see, third worst in the entire country in net punt average. And this man, Aaron Ross, has already taken back two this season. Tom Malone, however, is over a hip injury, and Malone can just kill it sometimes. Sometimes he outkicks the coverage. Texas will get good field position out of this one. The reception was made at about the 43. Fumble! Texas man let go. Oh, Trojans have it. The Trojans get the football. I mean, somebody leveled Ross, and then the ball squirted out. And USC covered it at the Texas 46-yard line. Combination hit by Colin Ashton, 59. And then the big hit comes in by Scott Ware as he hits Ross right in the face. The ball has got no choice but to come loose. And then the Trojans 
dives down, and the first turnover of the game goes SC's way. It goes to Mayaba, who covered the loose football, and now Southern California at the Texas 46. Well, there's the first break of the ball game. Turnovers. Liner's got a double wide, top of the picture, steps up, throws short, goes to Smith. Smith inside the 40, down to about 37. And the tackle made by Cedric Griffin. Well, the game plan for SC tonight is uh, first downs are first. They got to move the chains, control the tempo of this ball game, and then defensively, Pete Carroll will create some chaos with speed. We talked about that three-man line with those seven linebackers, but how about the speed on special teams? Kaluku Maeva, who was named Special Teams Player of the Year, is a true freshman for Pete Carroll. Two-back set. Bush deep. Smith this side, Jarrett at the top of the picture. And Bush gets it, bounces outside with it, runs over one Texan and gets it on down for a first down. He ran into Cedric Griffin and Mr. Griffin, meet Mr. Bush. Everybody wants to compare Reggie Bush to so many different players. He's a, basically a combination of a lot of guys. This is Barry Sanders jumping to the outside right here, but as he finishes it off, this looks like Walter Payton to me. As he lowers his shoulder, drives Griffin back, and picks up SC's first first down on offense. Just inside the 30-yard line. And Vince Young can only stare and wait for his defense to get him the ball. As long as he's on the sidelines, he can't beat him. Ball marked just inside the 30. Dominique Bird and Fred Davis at the double tight end set with two wide outs up there. And Bush is a deep man. Kirkman comes back to help him. Liner drops the throw, throws it down the sidelines. Kirkman! And he makes the catch at the Texas six-yard line. The fullback making a tough catch and taking a wicked blow. Great pass by Matt Leinart and an incredible catch by number 37. But this is his 20th catch so far this year, so he's no ordinary fullback. Not when you got hands and concentration and toughness like that. Lindale White and Brandon Hancock will be in the backfield as the Trojans come back to the ball. It is resting on the four-yard line. Has mark. They're going to run it with White, and Lindale walks in. Fred Matua and Brandon Hancock laid. Powerful blocks to open the door for Lindale White. And boy, has he rolled up some touchdowns this season. 21 on the ground coming in. That's 22. But when you look at his career, that is 55. He's just a junior. And that's a career mark here at USC. Yes, 24 this year. Here is Mario Danello now for the extra point. It's good. Southern California recovers a Texas fumble at the Longhorn 46 after the Texas defense had stopped the Trojans. And USC accepted the turnover and stuck it in the end zone to take a 7 to nothing lead at 12 minutes and 27 seconds to go in the first quarter. Lindale White, who just scored his 24th touchdown of the season to put USC in the lead, 7 to nothing. Now let's see what happens with Texas. Can they respond as Troy Van Vlakum will kick it off? The Longhorns will have Romance Taylor and Juan Cosby standing back near the goal line. Van Vlakum is a freshman from Orange, California, and he puts a lot of leg on it. Takes it about five yards deep into the end zone and no return. Out to the 20 it comes. The quarterback for the Longhorns is a big fellow. Mitch Young, 6'5", 230 plus. A lot of swagger, but he's good. His individual numbers sewn here for this year tell you a lot. He's frightening at his size when he gets loose and starts running around. He's 29 and 2 as a starter. And as an old defensive coach once said, he ain't got no handles. But he led the country in passing efficiency this year. One of the prime reasons the Horns average better than 50 points a game this season. 
So here we go again. Let's see the first offensive play of the ball game for Texas. Selvin Young starting at tailback makes the carry and the backs and receivers. The tailback is a position by committee. Selvin Young's a junior and he gets the start because of the experience. But there are a lot of people that can play that position. The offensive line center Lyle Sinline anchors a very good one. The tackle Scott and Blaylock. They'll have the best show in town when the Trojan defensive ends come calling. Big athletic and they've got an attitude. It'll be second down and five as Young picked up about five yards and Vince Young throws and it is completed across the 40 to the 42 to the tight end David Thomas Thomas at 6'3 245 a senior and a very good receiver play action pass for Vince Young and the Longhorns as Young completes his first throw Cushing a little late on his blitz that leaves Thomas wide open in the secondary. He is a valuable receiver led the Longhorns this season. That's 41 on the year. So it's first down at at the 43 line of Swede Billy Pittman Quan Crosby are the three wide outs on the field. Then Young whips a shot up the field. Pass is completed at about the 48 yard line. Billy Pittman making the catch. The USC defensive front Ellison Ramsey inside a good. The ends are exceptional. Rucker and Jackson could be a key to handling Vince Young. Linebackers, USC gets Keith Rivers back from injury. Could be a very handy addition. Freshman Brian Cushing starting with Lua in the middle. The secondary, this secondary figures to be the toughest bunch that Vince Young has looked at on this season. Cosby is among the speedsters coming outside. All these Texas receivers, they're a track team. Ball is carried by Charles. Charles rolled back with the ball is loose. I think Pittman got it. Number five at the bottom of that pile. You don't get any free trips <laughs> through the middle of that defensive front by either team. That'll make Mac worry about the young freshman here. He's trying to make a big play on the outside, refuses the hole, and then just drops the ball. Texas has fumbled 33 times this year, but they've only lost nine. The ball comes back to their own 48 yard line. They're looking at third down and 10 with Selvin Young back on the field. He didn't waste any time. He put the junior back in there at tailback. And Vince Young back to throw. Pressure coming. They're missing. Now he gets it away anyway, and the pass is completed. And uh, I don't know if it was completed or not. He, he, I know that one knee was down over here, and I look like. The yeah, and what, a, what a great job Young did to get the ball to Selvin Young. He's going to be tackled. Yes, Brandon Ting is number 38. His brother Ryan, number 39. That strength. There's the knee is down. And the frustration from Selvin Young brings up a fourth down. And Bush goes back to accept the punt. The punter is Richmond McGee, and McGee doesn't like to punt that ball to people like Bush. He gets it up, gets a lot of air under it, and it's drifting down the sideline and goes out of bounds. So he just he does a good job with it. He kept it away from Reggie Bush, got it out of bounds at the 17-yard line. 2:21. To play in the first quarter, and we'll see Reggie on offense coming up. All right, they come up here to the 17 yard line, and Reggie Bush is going to the outside as a wide out, leaving Lindale White as the single back. And Bush comes toward the ball. White gets it, runs in traffic. Oh, he found something over there, and he went blazing through for nine yards before they brought him down. Yeah, this offensive line of SC played together a lot, really in great rhythm and very much in sync. And Lendell's a very patient runner. Watch as he takes it deep in the eye formation. And then it's Matua and Khalil comes off on the double team to get to Harris. And it's a big nine yard gain on first down. There they are Sam Baker, Titusi Latui, Ryan Khalil, Fred Matua, and Winston Justice. Latoui is the only senior. Some others may go, but if they don't, here comes Reggie Bush. Out of bounds at the 35-yard line. That's the first down. 
Michael Griffin ran him out, and we've run out of time in the first quarter. It is seven to nothing, Southern California leading Texas, and they will have a first down. And we will be back after this message and the word from our ABC. Lindale White now is the deep back for USC. The ball is on their 35-yard line. They lead seven to nothing. We start the second quarter of play. Line it back, pump, not going deep. It's caught. No. Well, did he? Well, he came over waving it as if he did not catch it. It looked like uh, there was contact on this one. Yep. Wayne Jarrett, eight on eight. Jarrett was under it. Yeah, it did not catch it. That ball hit the ground, but it's a heck of an effort. I thought Jarrett should have been called for pass interference. He shoved Cedric Griffin out of the way. Ball been a foot longer, though, he'd had it. You're right. He could have been flagged for it, but nothing like that happened. It is second down and ten after an incomplete third pass. That's Dominic Bird to tie it in. Mason, he's a very fast guy, and sometimes he goes deep. They drop it off. Got a little screen action set up for Bush. Oh, look out! Ball fumble. Texas has got it. He's trying to lateral the ball is what he was doing, Keith. He saw a teammate out to the side and flipped the ball out there, and Texas has got it. Second fumble on the year for Reggie Bush. Just trying to do too much. He had a fantastic run on this play, and he's got to be upset with himself for that bonehead play to try to get more out of it. He was trying to get it back to Brad Walker, who was trailing. He didn't been able to at six. Yeah, Walker, number 18 there, never expected the ball. So Texas gets a break and will take over the ball at their own 18-yard line. Here early in the second quarter of play, a 7-0 lead for USC. And the old turnover has shown up tonight already. And Vince Young, back to throw, has a lot of daylight in front of him, and he takes off. And Dip goes out of bounds, out across the 30 to the 32, and that's the first down for the Longhorns. Texas did not score in that first quarter, and that's the first time this entire season that they've been shut out in the first quarter. But how easily did Vince Young pick up that first down? Yeah, you get the feeling now he may be looking to take the reins, huh? Well, he should. He's the guy. He's five for five throwing. And on the ground, he's got three carries for 30 yards. Not bad. Gets his pass away. The ball is caught. Pretty good tackle over there by the Trojans. Justin Wyatt on David Thomas. Thomas is the load. He's the tight end. He weighs about 245. Wyatt took him on. Uh, Justin to 185. If I'm Pete Carroll, I am very much concerned with the lack of pass rush. The one time they got in on Young was when they had to blitz both the Ting brothers. In normal situations, the defensive line of Jackson, Ellis, Ramsey, and Rucker aren't getting anywhere close to Vince Young. We talked early on about the battle between the defensive ends of USC and the tackles of Texas, and so far the tackles of Texas are one net better. And the guards and center are doing pretty good, too. Not bad. Sunline's a great player. Ball is thrown over here to this side to David Thomas again. Thomas uh, goes down, almost lost the ball himself, but it's at the 42 where Keith Rivers made the tackle. Yeah, great effort by Thomas to uh, fight Rivers, fight Wyatt, and pick up the first down. Because he doesn't have the first down when he catches this ball. But look how quick he gets up the field. Lowers his shoulder on Wyatt and then dives out just enough to pick up the first down. Great play by David Thomas. Romont Taylor checks into the backfield now at tailback and after the offside call it's first and five. Young looking they chase him out and he throws back across the field pass is complete to Brian Carter. Carter will be inside the 30 down to the 27 before Pinkerton can bring him down. Brian Cushing was the man pursuing Vince Young, but he big strong guy, and he's so tall, he sees the entire field. Well, one man can't bring him down. Number 10 is Cushing. He chases number 10, Young, but can't get to him. 
big play again by Vince Young. From the SC 27, Young drops back, takes off, up the middle. He's finally caught at the 15-yard line by Darnell Bing. Bing got him by locking his legs around the ankle. Well, Frosty Rucker, the defensive end on the left side of the Texas offensive line. Check him out right here. He's going to come up the field too far. It's a design draw play. Great block by Ramon's Taylor. And then just check this out. If there was ever a hot quarterback, it's Vince Young. Eight for eight throwing, and now four carries for 42 yards. And the ball is at the 15-yard line, first down. Little shovel pass goes to Ramon Taylor, and he's taken down uh, short of the line of scrimmage by Lawan Ramsey. Defensive tackle. You know, that type of play, I think I'd save it for when the uh, Trojans were getting better pass pressure. That time, Ramsey was just hanging around the line of scrimmage. He was there for that shovel pass. It'll be second down 11. Pete Carroll is the defensive coordinator for USC. Ball's loose. Texas is going to get it back. Wow. Trojans ran right over the top of it. Oscar Lua came in and knocked it loose or banged him enough and he dropped the ball and then the Trojans could not get to it. Uh, it's a real tribute to the Texas offense. You know, this is 33 fumbles on the year, but they're so good at recognizing when they do fumble that they recover a lot of them. Check out Vince Young diving in there to save the Longhorn Bacon. The Lua was the one who had the best chance at it and just scored it out from under it. So it's third down and 24 now for the Longhorn. USC is leading 7 to nothing. And Young's got to be thinking about getting half of it back, putting his team in field goal range. Looking around. Goes down the middle, and it is incomplete. There were two Longhorns and four Trojans on that play back there around the eight-yard line. Might have been a mistake to try to get it all back. That's his first incompletion of the night, but SC brought pressure with a corner blitz by Justin Wyatt. That may have forced uh, Young to get rid of that sooner than he wanted to. He also had seven DBs in there on that uh, play then. Yeah, that's that uh, speed on the field, and it paid off for the Trojans. Well, they're going to go for a field goal here. It'll be David Pino, a 46-yard try. That's, for him, a uh, pretty good size. He's been steady and he's worked on that leg and he's got enough leg on this one and it's good. That is career long 46 yard field goal for David Pino and the Longhorns are on the board. But the field is very good. It's awesome. Walked on it before the game. Dry, firm, five eighths of an inch long each blade of grass. How about that? Wouldn't work. No direction. I go 5.58. Ball is on the 35-yard line now. Seven to three. Trojans have the lead and the kickoff. Texas by Greg Johnson down to the six-yard line. Darnell Bing has this one. And the big old safety comes on back out to about the 27 yard line. They win championship to defense. Ball thrown to Smith. Well, that's a heck of a catch by Steve oh. Smith with Michael Huff drilling him in the back. Ball thrown low by Leinert. A perfect strike on the outside corner. And Huff can't believe it. Check out the reaction by Huff. He's all over him. That's really close. I think his left arm was underneath the ball. I think keeping it. Wanted to go deep. Nobody to throw it to. Now drops it off. And it is complete to Fred Davis. And Davis will get down to about the 32 yard line. Fred Davis was the one who imitated uh, Vince Young as best he could 
in the practice sessions at quarterback because they're about the same size and Pete Carroll and the coaches wanted people to get the perspective of having a man that size working the ball against you on the offense and uh, Fred did a pretty good job. And Michael Coleman also did a pretty good job as they wanted to get a little more speed and flash than Fred could provide. <laughs> Smith is back. We've got Jarrett Turner Smith. Your catcher's on the field right now for SC. Line it back. Let it go. And it's in the corner. And it is intercepted or knocked away by Michael Griffin. He didn't pick it, I guess. Well, he caught it. I don't think he got his feet in bounds, though, Keith. Hit the pylon. The pylon's knocked over. They're going to have to take another look at this, perhaps. They're having a conference down there. You can see the officials getting together. Great play by Griffin. Oh, boy. They're saying it's incomplete pass. Take a look at it. You can see Smith is open for a short time. There comes Griffin. That's an interception, folks. He had one yeah, foot down. That right foot down, and the whistle blows. They're going to have to take a look and give Texas the ball at the 20. Yeah, his foot's in the end zone, knocks the pylon over with his other foot. There That's Texas football. The video evidence that the pass was intercepted with a foot in the end zone. The touchback, first down, Texas. And you've got six minutes and 50 seconds to play in the first half. And the Longhorns turn away the Trojans. We're in the six minutes and 50 seconds to go in the first half with SC leading Texas by a score of seven to three. Matt Leinert has just been picked off for the first time in 83, his last 83 attempts. Great play by Griffin for the Horns. That was his third interception of the year, and it showed probably a touchdown. Horns will try to run it to Selvin Young, working inside the tackles, and he gets something out of it. He's going to have about seven yards. Here's Holly Rowe. Guys, after that last field goal on the Texas sideline, the offense had their heads hanging. They were actually dejected of not being able to punch it into the end zone. Matt Brown, sensing a loss of their enthusiasm, came over and said, look, I want your heads up. This is no time for the week. We're going to go out and start moving the ball. On second down and three, Young throws to the sidelines. Pass is caught up at the 42. Move your chain. First down, Texas. Lima Swede, the catch. I guarantee you one guy didn't have his head down. That's that guy right there. Going with a no huddle now to speed up the tempo. And this is exactly the type of play and the style of play that Vince Young thrives in. As if he's not already thriving tonight. Keeps it, sets the throw, gets it off in a hurry. Just that little quick pop. And the ball is thrown up to the 45. And the reception by David Thomas of the tight end rolls close to a first down. Earlier we asked the Aflac trivia question, who are the three players to win the Rose Bowl Player of the Game Award? The answer is Bobby Schlorett. University of Washington, 60 and 61. Charles White, USC, 79 and 80. And Ron Dane, Wisconsin, 99 and 2000. Young pitches it outside on an option, and it works with Selvin Young being knocked out of bounds after he crosses midfield and put the ball on the Southern California 46. Second time they've run an option tonight. This one's successful because of the pitch. First time Young took it himself, Vince that is. This time he gives it to Selvin, and they get a first down. And again, no huddle, quick tempo. This keeps SC from substituting, getting all those defensive backs on the field. This possession started back on the 20 yard line. Young's pass thrown to the outside, goes to the tight end, Thomas again. And Thomas goes out on a hard hit by Darnell Bing. That's two big men colliding. The other thing about this uh, no huddle offense, SC is substituted. They have true freshman Ray Maaluga, middle linebacker. And Ryan Powdrell, a backup linebacker in the game. So you got inexperience at the linebacker spot, and Young is just picking them apart right now. Thomas with five catches and 46 yards. 5.20 to go in the first half. Almost got him behind the line of scrimmage. 
but it is Jamal Charles, the speedster, who takes it inside the Trojan 25. Broke the tackle of Lawan Ramsey and another Texas first down. They're going to get right back on the line of scrimmage. They can substitute easily. Young comes in for Charles. But watch this run. Ramsey can't get him. Rucker can't get him, and he's in the secondary. First down, Texas. Young's got it. Going to run it. Lost the ball. Pitched it out. He pitched it out. Touchdown, and Texas. Touchdown to Selvin Young. I don't know. It uh, looked it, like he might have been down, didn't it, Keith? Yeah, it did to me. I thought he was. But I'm looking at it with binoculars. Darnell Bing almost had him down, but he dropped it off. I didn't know if it was a fumble or a, a pitch. Well, Reggie Bush tried this earlier with disastrous results. Young knows he's got help to the outside. The ball, he's, he's down. down. He's down. They're going to have to check this he's one down. out, take these points off the board. He was on, on the ground before he pitched the ball. Uh, going to get away Better with it. Kick, kick it quickly. I can't believe they're not reviewing this one. This is huge. Kick is good. No, kick is not good. Nope, missed Sorry. it wide right. Wide right. Kind of like last night. But this shouldn't have been a touchdown. No, should not have been a touchdown. I don't believe it. But anyway, it is uh, missed, and uh, the Trojans are not damaged. Basic question in the aftermath and the extra point and all of that and the touchdown was that in order to alert them to the potential of a replay on this pitch right here, you see the knee is clearly down. The ball's in his hand. USC should have called time, but they didn't. And Texas got a touchdown. Yeah, but the officials upstairs saw the same thing we did. Had plenty of time to stop play and take that touchdown away. It's a nine to seven ball game. The Longhorns lead for the first time and Greg Johnson will kick it off. High. It's a lot of air under the ball. It goes to Bush and Bush looking for a crack. Gets to the outside and stops the clock at about the 33 yard line. He ran into the wall that time. Balls forward across the 30 to the 31, so give him three yards. He rides the surge of an offensive line as well as anybody. Second down and 12. Remember, they had a five yard penalty for illegal substitution. 12 minutes ahead of it. Line it. Rolls out and throws, and it's outside. Incomplete intended for Dwayne Jarrett. Well, you just check the body language of these two teams. You see the frustration by Leinert. You see Huff and Griffin for Texas jumping up and down after that incompletion. Momentum can change so quickly in a college football game, especially when you have turnovers. The interception by Leinert led to that 80 yard drive when Vince Young was nearly perfect and got help from the officials. Line it down the middle, intended for Jarrett, and defended very well by Michael Griffin, an incomplete, and it's fourth down. And because of the uh, delay of game penalty, Jarrett wouldn't have had the first down with the completion, but the coverage in the secondary, all this speed, that's why both Lane Kiffin, SC's offense coordinator, Gene Chiswick, the defensive coordinator for Texas, told me they didn't think this game would be very high scoring because of the speed. Great timing by Griffin. And they'll punt now with Tom Malone and Aaron Ross is waiting. Malone's got a low one. And it is fielded by Ross. And that low line drive gave him a little room. And he brings it back up the field about 18 yards. And here's Texas now. 
with good field position at their own 49 yard line and leading six nine to seven. Little dancing and jigging going on here as old Vince Young he's keeping his crowd loose. He is probably the most entertaining quarterback in the country when it comes to handling the tempo and the temper of the sideline. He works at it all the time. On first down now for the Horns as Young looks around and lets it go deep and it is incomplete. It was intended for number five Billy Pickman who is a speed burner but Josh Pickard got in front of it and I got to got it out of there. And this ball was up in the air after the that bounces off of Pinkard's shoulder. It's up in the air for an eternity. In fact, Lima Swede almost came over yeah, and did. picked it up, number four, but Pinkard gets in his way, or he would have picked it up. Holy cow, are we getting some bounces or what? Yeah, Pinkard could have intercepted it had he known who it was, too. They had that chance. Here's Vince Young, wants to run it, gets outside, and the first man didn't get it. The first man didn't get it. It was a good tackler, too, a fellow named Frosty Rucker. And he ran through his arm. Incredible. Rucker, 6'3, 260, second leading tackler for the Trojans this year. He's got him right here. Watch him come in here. Just the fake. He's got both arms wrapped around him, but Young is so big, so strong, so determined. Frosty knows it, too. He's growling about it. Should be. Ryan Carter is in for Texas now as they go to three wideouts. Working out of the spread, Young's pass thrown down the middle. It goes to the tight end, Thomas. And David Thomas will take it down to the 30-yard line, and it's first down Texas with two minutes and 50 seconds to play. So the Texas siege is rolling right along. Another catch for David Thomas. Wide open as SC brings the blitz, and they don't cover number 16 till it's too late. Scott Ware was after Vince Young, but the ball was gone. And he hands it this time to Taylor, and Taylor's got the ball, got daylight, and touchdown, Texas! So the Longhorns have exploded in the last 10 minutes of the second quarter. No doubt about that touchdown, as it's another Broken tackle. SC not tackling worth a darn here in the first half. They had Taylor at the line of scrimmage just as they had Young at the line of scrimmage on the previous play. Extra point now by David Pino. Right in the middle. Yeah, they always tell the running back, you got to make somebody miss. And then you've got to get help down the field from your wide receivers. Check out Lima Swede, number four here on Scott Ware as he drills him and Taylor walks in. Remember, the Trojans have won 34 consecutive games. They are the defending national champions. They are trailing Texas 16 to 7 with 234 to go in the first half of the BCS championship game. Reggie Bush too far in the back of the end zone will not return it. It'll be USC ball up at the 20. Leonard getting pressured drops it off to Reggie Bush. Bush trying to run around the corner can't do it steps out of bounds. He'll save his body and he's close to a first down. Black in a couple of yards. Bobino took him out. Not a bad idea or play call by Lane Kiffin, offensive coordinator. When struggling, go to your horses. There's Lane. Great job filling in, taking the place of Norm Chow. A lot of question marks as how this offense would be affected. Well, one of the best in the country, thanks to Kiffin, but he's going to give the ball to Reggie. You can count on that and try to get the ball to Dwayne Jarrett. 16 to 7, Texas leading. With a nine point explosion and this extra point kept them from the 10 point lead. And Leonard gives to Bush. Bush is reaching across midfield. And he won't get 
He's at least two yards short of his first down. Loki at the tackle, and here's Todd. Well, Keith, as Holly reported, Texas down two starters, and Steve Sarkeesian, the offensive co-offensive coordinator, has seized upon that. He is encouraging Matt Liner to speed up his cadence, speed up the play. They're getting the play earlier, and Texas, the only way they're being able to confuse Matt Liner tonight, and they're doing a good job, is they're showing their defense late. He wants Matt to pull the trigger earlier and try to catch Texas out of alignment. Well, he's got plenty of time. Drills the ball down inside the 40-yard line to Dwayne Jarrett, and that's a first down. A minute 18 as the clock stops on the completed pass and the movement of the chains. And that was the best pass protection that Liner's had all night. He could really step into that throw and sing it in there to Dwayne Jarrett. Maybe have been the best pass he's thrown tonight. Yeah. Those kind of go hand in hand. They do, don't they? <laughs> All three times out remaining for SC. At 104 to play. If they can get something on the board going to the clubhouse at halftime, they'll feel better about themselves, I'm sure. Liner's in trouble. Takes off. A lot of room. Now finally tracked down at about the 25. Aaron Ross and Terrell Brown track him down, and the ball is on the 25 yard line. Another first down for Southern California, trailing Texas by nine with 49 seconds to play in the half. Again, legs being stretched on the Texas side because of cramps, but Matt Leinart took a whack here. Well, he's got Brown on his shoulder, so he can't get down. As far as he wanted to. This is just a real solid. Good hit by Ross did not lead with the helmet. And got the same effects though. As Leonard was shaken up a bit. All right they've got two times out remaining. They've got 49 seconds to play. And they've got 25 yards to travel. If they want a touchdown. Leonard again. Throws inside, ball to Bush. And Reggie goes out of bounds at roughly the 13 yard line. And there's a Texas helmet back up the field. That's Orokpo's helmet. Well, he came out to the party a little bit late and never could get his uh, chin strap button. In fact, he's trying to button it while he was rushing the passer. And Liner, uh, that's a, a big hit. That's very reminiscent of the hit he took against Arizona State that drew a flag. Knocked him silly for a while. Spread him out. Backfield's empty. 40 seconds to play in the first half. Bush is on this side. Liner sacked back at the 21 by Ocam. Not a bad time to pick up your first sack of the season. Frank Ocam, the sophomore, working against Ryan Khalil, number 67. Coverage sack for the uh, secondary, but Ocam's got the quarterback. You've got 32 seconds to play, and the Trojans have one timeout remaining. Texas with a burst in the late going of the first half. Jumps out, scoring 16 unanswered points to take a 16 to 7 lead. One, two, three, four, five, six of them up there. Leinert steps away, falls down. Nobody to throw the ball to. It's all, you know, and on this drive, every time Liner's gone back to pass, it's been a straight drop back. They haven't rolled them out. They haven't gone with a three-step drop, which they normally do when they're getting pressure. But right now, this uh, defensive line is getting in there. There's Ocam one more time. He's going to stay with them, pick up a sack. Well, here comes Danello into the ball game. He's going to give it a go. That'll be about 43. Mac making sure he's got 11 out there. Texas can block it. They've got some long, tall folks to get up in the air. And Texas. here you figure it's going to be low when he kicks it from this distance, but he got it off. And he made it. 
He knocks in a 43-yarder, and it's a 16-10 ball game. Here's Todd. Pete, what do you need to fix at halftime? Well, we, we, we gave a couple opportunities away to him, you know, and we just have to do a much better job of that. We don't normally do those kinds of things. I don't know why Reg flipped that ball back. You know, we were in pretty good shape right there. Uh, that, that's the first thing. We got to slow him down. They had a little momentum going with the no huddle thing. We got to slow that thing down. Your quarterback, Matt Leinard, how is he? He's okay. He's okay. He got rocked a little bit, but he's all right. We'll see you in the second half. Holly? I'm here with Matt Brown. Coach, in that midway point through the first half, your team seemed to pick up some momentum. What happened to get that momentum? Oh, Holly, it's a, a great ball game between two great football teams, and I think ours were trying a little too hard. And we really stunk the first part of it. We've settled down now, and what a ball game. Should what, be a great second half. What stunk? Well, we fumbled the ball twice, and, and then we laid it on the ground another time when we're going in to score, and uh, we had an opportunity or two on defense we didn't make. But it's a great football team, and we've got to protect the ball better in the second half. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you. Keep Stay tuned for the Pontiac Performance Halftime Show after this message and a word from our ABC station. 16 to 10 lead, the University of Texas Longhorns over the University of Southern California as we get ready for the second half of play. And let's talk about tweaking things with Dan Fouts. Well, offensively, SC's got to get Bush and Jarrett Moore involved. And then on defense, pressure and then tackle Vince Young. Texas offensively hang on to the ball quit giving it back to the Trojans and then defensively stay the course you're doing just fine you're allowing SC just 10 points holding out a pretty good offense Trojans have got to crank up the throttle a little bit they? well they've got to quit making mistakes and as we talked about Bush is such a difference maker he's not on his game so far that if that lateral in the first half was just a critical mistake something that I'm sure that he would like to have back and we haven't seen the best of Vince Young either. Well, not too bad, though. Vince Young is a leading rusher in the game, but you always expect a little bit more out of him. The big question for SC is the health of Matt Leiner. Took a lot of big shots in that first half. That missed extra point. They oftentimes echo, don't they? Well, it came on a touchdown that should not have been a touchdown, too. Right. So uh, that one, a six point lead here at the half, and that's just that one extra point's the difference. So the Rose Bowl holding up to the expectations but in effect it's the defense that's setting the tone of the game so far. Texas showed signs of grabbing it by the horns literally if you'll pardon the pun in uh, the last 10 minutes of that first half when they exploded for 16 unanswered points. Troy Van Buckham will kick off now as the Horns won the toss so initially and elected to start with the ball in the second half. That's a good kick. It goes two yards deep in the end zone to Ramon Taylor. Taylor coming to the outside. The Trojans went for the middle of the field and bingo, he broke it to the outside and there's a penalty flag up on the 33-yard line. Well, time for our city game summary. Pretty balanced for Texas, 121 yards rushing, 113 passing. SC's two turnovers led to nine Texas points. But SC, those both happened deep in Texas territory. Liners been down three times. Young, not up. Still clean Richard. Keeps it. Started a little option motion. Throws a couple of defenders. Turned it upfield and got three yards. Darnell Bing finally brought him down. Uh, he probably got more than three, Keith, as he was contacted there, but just continues to overpower the Trojan tacklers. Second down and six. Keeps it. Got away from the pressure, throws to the sidelines. There was enough pressure, though, to make him move, and he threw the ball wide of his intended receiver, Lima Swede. It was defended by John Walker. That really is the best uh, pressure we've seen from the Trojans' front four all night, and that's directly responsible for that ball being incomplete because he did have to move and had a small margin for error on that sideline. Just beginning the second half of play. Game hasn't exactly followed form, but it's beginning to turn that way as the principal performers are beginning to step up, and in particular, Vince Young. On third down, down the sidelines, too long. Swede running down the sidelines with defense by John Walker. 
That's a great start to the second half for the Trojan defense. As they force uh, Young two incompletions in the first half he only had two incompletions. Well we've seen Pete Carroll work some miracles uh, in the second half of play all along the last two seasons. We'll see if he can do it against the powerhouse here in Texas. Reggie Bush is waiting for Richmond McGee's punt. Reggie's back about the 38 yard. High kick. Reggie comes up, waves for a catch, and a penalty flag thrown. Four man punt for Texas. Ball goes. Line it dropping back, throws down the middle. Jarrett's got it. And Dwayne Jarrett will take it down to about the 22 yard line before Terrell Brown can ride him down. And that'll get a high five from Daddy. His liner enjoying the pass protection. And Jarrett running a sharp route after the play fake. And it's a good one to Glendale White. Look at the pass protection. Again, when Leonard can step into the throw, as most quarterbacks, he's going to be very accurate. This is a perfect toss. Jarrett caught 81 during the regular season coming into this game and had 15 touchdowns. That's a lot. Ball is at the 22 of Texas. Line it up quickly. Throws the ball. He comes this way again to Jarrett. Jarrett will work his way to the 17 before he's wrestled down by Brown and Huff. Well, Brown's playing well tonight. He's been around a lot of tackles. And he's been able to fend off the blocking of the wide receivers. That time Steve Smith was out in front, and Brown just uh, ignored him, came up and made the tackle. Brown comes from Mesquite. Right now they're looking at second down and five. The ball is on the Texas 17 yard line. They're trailing by six points. Ball is handed off to Lindale White. He shakes off Kretler Rutter, goes for the corner of the end zone, and finally got him. Michael Griffin got down around his feet and got him down just inside the five yard line. Now he just straight arm Michael Huff to the turf. Watch the strength of the right hand of Lindale White. Watch seven come up here. That's Huff right there. Down Huff goes, and White almost gets into the end zone. Griffin with a solid tackle. Of course, uh, the biggest guessing game in town is whether or not Lindale White will come up and go to the draft, or whether Reggie Bush will go to the draft. Maybe depend on what happens here tonight. The Trojans right now get it back to White, and he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown! So now USC with an opportunity if they can convert to take the lead again. Great start defensively for the Trojans to start the second half. Even better start for their offense as White pays it off with two very strong and important runs for the Trojans. Malone is the holder, the putter. Will Collins snaps it. Mario Canelo kicks it through. It is 17 Southern California and 16 Texas at 10.36 to go in quarter number three. Lindale White banging it into the end zone, his 25th touchdown of the year. White and Bush collectively 97 combined career touchdowns. That ties the NCAA record for teammates with Army's Glenn Davis and Doc Blanton. As far as I, I remember or know, this is the first time we've had two Heisman Trophy winners in the same backfield of the game since Davis and Blanton. And it's very similar, Mr. Inside and Mr. Outside, yeah, huh? It is, yeah. Ball kicked almost beyond the field of play, way in the back of the end zone, and no return on it for Texas. They'll come out to the 20. And possess the ball using the spread formation. Jamal Charles is set back there with Vince Young. And out of bounds he goes. It was almost a body block by Oscar Lua that got him out of there. But he picked up about a part of seven yards. And he got in behind his All American tackle, Jonathan Scott. 
pulling all the way from the left side and leading Young around the corner. Again, no huddle offense to keep the Trojans from substituting. Second down and three. This is Charles. Cuts it back in traffic. Finds a crease. And a fine run. Scott Ware finally brought him down. But the freshman out of Port Arthur moves the chains for the Longhorn. They're trying to respond here to USC's touchdown. And they're going back to their basic Texas football, that zone read play. First time Young kept it. That time he gave it to Charles. Both plays, good results. Quick pop over here to line the sweep, and he'll have oh my goodness about six yards on that play. Just bang bang. That's the kind of stuff they used here last year against Michigan too. Standing back in the shotgun really gives uh, Young a chance to check out this defense. He saw Pinkert off about ten yards that time and picked up the easy completion. Running right. Got a block. Got a big block from Pittman over there and runs a, a big play for Texas all the way down to the 35 yard line. And he ran himself right into the ground trying to get extra yardage, but it's the quarterback draw again. He's so tough when he runs to the right, too. He's a right handed thrower, so that means he likes to go that side of the field. And right now he just trips on the grass here at the Rose Bowl and goes down. Big block for him from Billy Pittman. Throwing down the middle. Got it. It's Lima Swede. And that's another Texas first down. At the Southern California 20 yard line, the, the plays are happening so fast. He's getting rid of the ball so quickly, it's impossible to get a rush on him. Texas tempo right now. Great response by Texas to SC's touchdown, don't you think? Yes, sir. in the middle. That's Charles again. Looked like he was gone and then all of a sudden he pops up on the other side. Talking to Greg Davis their offensive coordinator he says he's like a wisp of smoke. He's there and then all of a sudden he's gone. Makes people miss almost every time. Trojan staying with that four man front. Reaches for it. Touchdown. Well, he's got the team on his back, man. Well, we talked about you can be in position. You can have the right defensive call made. You can do everything right. But if you got him one on one, you're probably not going to tackle him. And that's what happened on that play. He comes right to this point here. Just overpowers the tackler, stretches out and scores. And so the horns go back to the lead, and here's your try for the extra point from David Pino. Matt Norton, the holder. And it's good. Third lead change of the ball game. Texas 23, Southern California 17, with 8.34 to play in the third quarter. And this is for the BCS Championship. 8.34 to go in the third quarter, and Vince Young has put his team back in the lead, 23-17. That old Miss Tech performance going to lay there on that scoreboard all night long. <laughs> yes, it is. Give hope to the Trojans and make Mac Brown worry. Greg Johnson to kick it off. Left footer. Reggie Bush is waiting for him. He's going to give it to him. At the five. Hole closes at the 25, and they'll take him down at the 26. Minor rolls it out. Rose completes to Dominique Bird. And the big old tight end did not go down. He just turned and 
pounded up the field and picked up the first down. Broke the tackle of Michael Griffin. This is why these teams are one and two in the country. There's no quit, and there's extra effort on every play by every player. Watch Bird this time. Gets the big hit there from Michael Griffin and says, uh -uh, I'm not going down till I got that first down. Great play by Dominic Bird. 38 yard line. Lindale White, the deep back. Liner's hot, Keith, nine in a row. Yep. Behind, though, 23 17. Want to do it again? Down the middle, Jarrett. Couldn't get by that last man. A sure tackle by Michael Griffin to take him down at about the 21. Here is Jarrett on Aaron Ross. Double move to the inside. At 6'5", he's got a real deceptive stride. But Liner just dealing the ball now, reading the defense and that offensive line controlling that Texas pass rush. Christmas Foy back in for the Trojans. Orange bouncing him around. And they handle him. Reggie was trying to slide to the right, get to the crack. And Brian Orakpo came right down the line with him and made the tackle. Five and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. 23-17, Texas is leading. Trojans trying to respond to a very efficient drive put on by Texas. The USC came out and started the second half by scoring. Texas scored. Now Trojans trying to respond to that. This is more in line what you would expect between two offensive powers that average better than 50 points per game all season. Why not throws the ball to Bird? And Bird will get inside the 15. Spins down a yard short of the first down as Michael Huff brought him down. Well, I'll tell you, Dan, this defensive secondary of Texas has got out there. The track team. Yeah, check out Bird on the end of the line of scrimmage with the fake block there on Crowder. And then again, great effort. And there's that tackling you talked about, Keith. Huff gives up about 60 pounds to Dominic Bird, but that didn't stop him from bringing him down. It's third down in a short yard. And Lindale White. He is the deep back. Liner kept it. Throws it to Bird. He stepped out of bounds. No, it's uh, Fred Davis. And they'll call it an incomplete forward pass because he was out of bounds when he caught the ball. Boy, and it looked like Liner could have just run for it. Yeah, but I think he's a little skittish after that wallop he took late in the second half. Nah, he's not skittish, Keith. Come on. He's a tough quarterback. That's a good call. He was out of bounds. At the, at watching that big old. Uh, yeah, Robinson 39. was coming, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 270 pounds of him. Fourth down and one with White, the deep back. Big play here, folks. Goes to White, runs up the middle. That'll do it. Touchdown. That's 26 touchdowns of this season for Lindale White. And they now own that combination touchdown record in the NCAA record books. They have 98 now, breaking the old Davis Blanchard mark. And that's Mr. Insiders, as the Trojan fans like to call him, Thunder. Three touchdowns tonight for Thunder. This is to give SC a one point lead. And it's the fourth lead change of the game, the third in this quarter. USC now 24 and Texas 23 with 4.07 to play in the third quarter. Oh, we got one building. The F. Back and forth we go here in this third quarter. 24 23. Defense and mistakes in the first half kept it. Texas exploded 16 unanswered points. Now we're into that shootout kind of thing. Yeah, first half is all defense, second half it's all offense. 
And Markham's kick, another good one. We back. No return. Ball is handed off to Romox Taylor. And he's tattooed at about the line of scrimmage. 35. Gained the yard. Taylor is a uh, versatile player. He's played a lot of wide receiver for the Longhorns. That time, a little bit too much hesitation. Trying to look for a crack in the defense that wasn't there. Young lost the throw, going to take off. Look out! All the way to the 20 yard line before Keith Rivers can bring him down with help from Darnell Bing. Let's take a look at this from high above the Rose Bowl. 150 yards rushing on the night for Vince Young and just 12 carries. He's come real close to busting this wall the way to the end zone. Oh, it's first down at the 20. Oh, the big guy. Hands it off. This is a loss and a big one. Frosty Rucker back in the ball game among those that took down Romance Taylor. With that 150 yards rushing, now he has a thousand even on the season, and that continues a Texas tradition. They are trailing by a point with a minute and 38 seconds to go in the third quarter. The ball is back on the 26, and it's second down and 16. Lima Swede got lost and just sat down down at the 15 yard line and was available. Well, it's a real dilemma for defensive backs in this game for SC. Young kind of mesmerizes everybody. They got to be scared to death that he's going to pull the ball down and take off running. In the meantime, Justin Wyatt slips down and Lima Swede is wide open at the 15 yard line. Third down and five now for the Horns. Throws it back across the field. The tackle is made with the reception right about the 14 yard line. Josh Pinkert hitting David Thomas. And that was the best defensive play for SC in a, quite a while because both Pinkert and Darnell Bing, 36 and 20 there, were all over that throwback screen to David Thomas. And the timeout was called with the clock winding down and about to uh, run out of time in the third quarter. We'll be back. After this message and the word from our ABC station. We've got 15 minutes left. David Pino. He's one for one on field goals. But missed the next point. Missed that one. Missed both of them to the right side. Well, Joe Paterno and Bobby Bowden can sympathize with Mac Brown. They saw that all night long last night, but another miss by David Pino, and the Trojans continue to lead. Here we go. On third down and long for Southern California. Third down and six. One point ball game. Dodge the bullet a minute ago. Now let's see if they come together. Reggie Bush remains quiet. He goes to the top of the screen as a wide receiver. They've entered the backfield of five wideouts. That line it. Quick drop, quick pass. Pass is caught by Dwayne Jarrett. So Jarrett becomes the money man for. Matt Leonard and you can call it first down Southern California at the 36 just jumps right inside of Aaron Ross there timing absolutely perfect 
between these two roommates and the ball thrown low right to the body of Jarrett because Leinart knew that Her Ross was coming quickly. Ross is pretty good isn't he? They're all good. <laughs> I don't see a dog out there. You're right. And as a quarterback I was always looking for dogs. <laughs> Dumped off to Dominique Bird. And Bird who has stepped up here in the second half makes another catch. And that'll move the ball up to the 43, close to the 44. And another great tackle by Michael Huff. He gets right to the shoulder pads, one hands the big man down to the ground. That's why he won the Thorpe Trophy as the best defensive back in the nation. Second down and three coming up for the Trojans. And this is the kind of a down where Matt Leinert might go fishing. Bush is outside of the wide out to the top of your picture. And the ball goes to Lindale White. There's your first down. Oh, he has been like an 18 wheeler running downhill tonight. Here's Todd. Well, Dan, you said it to Tusi Latui. No one wants to celebrate more from him. Here he is a transfer from Snow College, originally from Mesa, Arizona. Following last year's win at the Orange Bowl, he had no chance to celebrate as his wife was in labor in Utah with their first child. He showered, jumped on an alumni charter to L.A. After riding to LAX, he grabbed another flight to Salt Lake City, where he made it to the hospital just after his baby was born. In Noki Liuaki Melatu, which in Tongan means return a champion. He's got another baby on the way, but he told me better timing this year. She's not due till June. Planned it better, did he? This is Burton bringing him out. They won't let him get around the corner. He's been trying all night, and they've been handling him all night. The Longhorns have had the answer for Reggie Bush tonight on all these perimeter type of plays, but not the answer for Lendell White pounding in the middle. So it's second down and eight for the Trojans with the ball across on the Texas side of the field, and here goes White again, and he's pounding now. He's running behind Brandon Hancock. And the Trojan fullbacks are having a big night with the blocking business. Aerial coverage of tonight's game provided by Postitos. Block ticking along at 12.05. And the word on Brian Robinson is that he'll be back. White is right at his season average at 6.6 .6 yards a carry. Third and two. Big guy still in there. He gets it. Lindale White inside the 30 yard line to the 26. Well, Lindale White weighs 235 pounds. That's why I'm calling him a big guy because he's a loaf. And that's the sacrifice you make when you try to get more speed on the field, as Gene Chiswick has done with this Texas defense. Power will beat speed. Look at the hole, the Tui. Matua, Khalil right up the middle. And Lendell White is on the verge of going over 100 yards rushing. He's needs. done it. Yep. There he goes. 101. Three touchdowns. Reggie Bush is your deep back. He gets it. Goes to the outside with it. Oh, it's around the corner. Down. I'm making sure that well, that's not <laughs> it, it took a while to get those arms up. I'm not sure these officials from the Big Ten have ever seen anybody fly through the air like Reggie Bush can. This ball was designed to go right up the middle. It wasn't there, but this was. Stayed in bounds, airborne touchdown, Reggie Bush. Wow. My goodness. <laughs> you did say wow, didn't you? Yes, I did. When I introduced him, I saw him in the hall the other day, and I just walked by him and said, wow. <laughs> <laughs> he hooked it at that, but he got it in. So it's a 31-23 ball game, an eight-point lead for Southern California with 11-19 to play in the game. Well, the two big men in the limelight, Vince Young for Texas and Reggie Bush for USC, have put their thumbprints on this ball game, however it may end. Lendell White's got a big old footprint on it, too. You bet he does. 
31 23 as the Trojans kick off and Larkham uh, pops it up. And they get a bounce. Nope. Horns come up and receive it. That's Henry Melton, that big old tailback, coming up and making the sliding catch. Ball completed down the middle. And it is a first down at the Southern California 35 yard line. Billy Pittman again making the catch. And he's hurt. Again, Young with a lot of time to throw and a wide receiver from Texas running free in the secondary. See where he might have twisted his ankle there in that tackle by Bing and Oscar Lua. Hobbled off the field in a hurry so they could keep going without a huddle. Pitch it out on the option action. And they get almost a first down out of it. It's Selvin Young running right to the marker. What I like about this drive, Keith, is they're keeping the ball in the hands of number 10. Whether he's operating the option or throwing the ball behind this great offensive line. Trying to answer, they're down by eight points. Ball is handed off to Selden Young. And Young will get the first down at the 28-21. Get an idea of the competitiveness of the quarterback, Vince Young. He's going to get out in front here and not throw a block, but at least get in the way of Keith Rivers. That allows Selvin to get the corner, pick up the first down. Big numbers for the end from tonight. Deep pass to the end zone, overthrown. Lima Swede was running under it, and Josh Pinkard was defending. Vince upset that uh, Limas took that route to the inside where Josh Pinkard had safety help coming over. Vince wanted it to the outside. That would have been a similar type of play that beat Ohio State earlier this year. Lima Sweet catching the jump ball in the corner of the end zone. Second down and 10. Young takes off. Trojans handled him pretty well this time. He only got five. Oscar Lua leading the tacklers. Well, Texas became the first non-conference opponent in 1990 to beat Ohio State at the Horseshoe on this play. 24-yarder from Young to Sweet with under three minutes to go. Proved to be the game-winning points as uh, the Longhorns beat the Buckeyes 25-22 in the game of September. Yeah, but that was a game that showed them they could beat a, a good football team. Absolutely. Third down and five. Young's got it. He won't get it. Fumbled any further. Did he turn it over? Well, it looked like it rolled loose. Casey stuttered, got on it. And kept it for Texas. And now they are they're talking about field goal. Number 90 is uh, Frosty Rucker. He stripped that ball loose. But look who recovered. Casey Stuttered. Heads up play. Boy, what a huge recovery for the Horns in field goal range. Maintaining possession. It's a chip shot here. 34 yards. But I couldn't, shouldn't say that. He missed. David Pino missed one a while ago from 31 yards. Same hash mark, too. Wide right. Yep. That's why it's inside. It's right down the middle, I thought. It seemed to sail off at the end of the travel. Good but hold good. by anyway. Matt Norgren, Keith. Check this out. Thirty one twenty six is your score USC by five. These last three right here have come in the second half as the Trojan offense straightened things out at halftime. Let's see what they do now to respond to that field goal by Texas. Lindale White is the deep back. Jarrett's down on this side. White has it. Uh, horns jumped on him. Right. About a yard, maybe.
Eight minutes and 16 seconds and the clock is ticking along. How about young Roy Miller getting some playing time Keith another freshman playing at nose tackle number 75 what a moment for him. Line it gets it away pass is complete to the fullback Kirkman there's a penalty flag back at the 10 yard line and you're up in the passer. Could very well be. Yep. Yeah, Leonard giving it right back to Texas says bring it on boys. And add 15 to the end of that reception by David Kurtman. Huge mistake for Texas. Looked like Killebrew was a man, wasn't it? Yeah, that's who Leonard was barking at. Number 40 is Killebrew, and that is a two-step late shot. Number 40, defense. 15 yards from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Line up to all right. And the ball goes way up the field. My goodness, it goes all the way to the 31 yard line in Texas. Balance. That's what that stat shows you. As SC in the second half has been unstoppable. But when you make mistakes like that, you're just aiding the enemy. Wendell White's in there. He gets it. Up the middle he goes. This trip. That's about the only thing that stopped him from scoring because there was nobody in front of him. And it's Latui again opening the door for him. Latui is 71 on the pull. Now that's 340 pounds right there. Key block as well by Fred Davis, who's a converted wide receiver playing tight end. There's the deuce. Ball is at the 23. Second down and one. Going for it. Jarrett. Touchdown. Two Longhorns hurt on the play. They collided. Wayne Jarrett, six foot five, and made out of old leather and hamstrings. Even though he's young, he takes a whacking in every ball game he plays, but he delivers. As Jarrett stretches out, breaks the plane, and scores for SC. It's 37-26, waiting for the point. Was a little high, but the kick is away and it didn't go. So a 12 point lead at 642. The 34 game win string is still alive and uh, looking pretty good right now. But the heat next is on the SC defense. USC leads Texas 38 26 with 642 to play in the game guys bad news for Texas the defensive back was just taken to the locker room Terrell Brown they immediately immobilized his arm they're not saying for sure because they want to wait for the x-rays but guys it does appear that his arm is broken he was immediately taken inside and guys it really dejected the sideline here the defensive players are sitting here devastated their heads are down seems like the air just went out of this sideline when that injury occurred. Well, to be blunt about it, it did in a sense in the Brown leaves the game with 10 tackles. So that's a lot. Got a 12 point lead, but that is uh, nowhere near the neighborhood of safety. Well, he has had success bringing his team from behind, but this is USC. This is the two time defending national champion with the one of the greatest defensive coordinators slash head coaches of all time Pete Carroll from the 31 yard line quick pop to the sideline pass is complete it's Lima Swede making the catch that stops your clock well they haven't stopped the clock well they should he went out of bounds 
thought so. <laughs> and he went out of bounds trying to go forward. <laughs> A lot of trouble with the clock tonight, huh? It's still going. 6-15. And from Quan Cosby, he put it on his knees, but he was open. And uh, Vince Young put it right on his number. Six. Yeah, the dilemma here is do you put pressure by adding the blitz to Vince Young and risk him breaking the pocket, making a long run, or do you sit back in zone? Right now, they're just sitting back in zone, hoping to take time off the clock. I think they've got to go after him somewhere between here and the goal line. He's just shopping. Yeah, he's afforded the time to, to shop and find David Thomas one more time. Thomas getting away from Darnell Bing with a real good wheel route right there. Faked going across the field, came back and picked up another Texas first down. Nine catches tonight for David Thomas. But just that quickly, the ball is all the way down on the Southern California 37 yard line. Here comes a blitz. But they got him moving around a little bit. The ball's thrown high. It's up the grab. And goes down incomplete. Ryan Ting had a chance to pick it off, but couldn't come up with it. But they made him move around a little bit that time. That ball should have been intercepted by Ryan Ting. He goes about five foot ten. Went way up high in the air to try to pull it in. Decided to just knock it down instead. Second down and ten from the SC 37. When he runs best is in this direction. And he's close to a first down. Cedric Ellis tripped him. Such a long stride. He covers so much ground in such a hurry. He gets eight on that one. It looked like just a stroll around the corner. Third and two. Kevin Thomas checks into the secondary, the extra back. Trojans going after him. Ball is thrown at the first down. David Thomas one more time. That's 10 catches for him. Colin Ashton was there and hit him hard, but he held on. Having a tight end that's so reliable over the middle just makes a quarterback's life that much easier. And Thomas has done that for Vince Young all year long. Well, just under five minutes to play, a lot of time, and they're down on the SC 23. He's throwing again, throwing quickly. And it goes to Lima Sweet. And now it's a good read by Vince Young because SC did bring the blitz that time. Had single coverage outside on Lima Sweet. Here comes Scott Ware. He's picked up. There's the wide open receiver for about a six yard gain. Kevin Thomas pinned him to help came. Second down and four. He's got six yards on that little short pass. Young slips a little. Coming back. There's daylight. Here he goes. Touchdown. Tell you, Keith, never seen anybody like him in my life. No, no, no. Yeah, there have been great scramblers throughout the history of college football, but this guy's at the top of the list. He almost fell down on that play. He did. <laughs> then regains his composure, runs right, as you said, the, the direction he loves to run, and goes in standing up again. Pino for the point. Kick good. So it's now. Kind of cozy. We've got 403 to play in the game. 38-33, a five-point lead for Southern California, and they get the ball back. Driving kick taken down at the five-yard line by Reggie Bush, who's been quiet tonight, and no, just a half a step from blazing a trail. 
to the end zone. Greg Johnson, the kicker, stopped him. Thank you, John. Game's on the line right here. As Lindale White is back into the ball game, hard to go down, keeps on fighting with him. And looks like the mark's going to go out to about the 37. Well, that's about three yards. It's been a battle. Total combined yards tonight, 1,033. And that was after the defense was very prominent through an entire quarter. Second and seven. Little roll out from Matt. Now throws it. Coming back to the ball. They're going to give him the catch. Eighth catch of the second half. When we talked about how it was important for them to get their playmakers involved. Well, Dwayne Jarrett is just that. What awareness of where he is on the field, keeping his feet in bounds to pull all that one in, and it picks up a huge first down. How about Liner in the second half? That's why he won the Heisman two seasons ago. First and ten now, the ball up on the 47 yard line. Lindale White flag and comes away with three on that dive. Tried to get outside. Drew Kelson kept him from getting away, but had he been able to get to the outside, he'd have done some damage. Now this is SC football right now, putting the ball in the hands of their big tailback, Lindale White, behind this big offensive line. Each time they snap the ball, time goes off that clock. Texas with all three of their times out remaining. Trojans have one, two and a half minutes to play. Trojans lead by five. Lyman drops it off. And it is incomplete. Thrown short. He had, uh, he was throwing to Brandon Hancock, but he had a Texas man right in his face. Now yeah, it was Drew Kelson, number four, who came on the blitz. And that ball came up just short. More importantly, the clock stops at 2:22. Third and seven. They run it with Lindale White. Oh, that's uh, ball come out. No. Oh, they marked him down at the 45. Came up short of the first down. Now the decision for Carroll. Do I go for it on fourth? Check out the ball here as White spins. Came loose. He did, did fumble, fumble. And it was recovered by Steve Smith. That's the first fumble of the year for Lendale White. About heads up. Steve Smith, a wide receiver in the middle of all those bodies. Finds himself with a football right in his hands. So Texas now with uh, 213 to play in the ball game and down by five. They spend the time out to save the time. And Pete Carroll got to make a decision right here on fourth and two. Fourth and one now for the Trojans and Reggie's on the sidelines. But Lendell White's in there. He's the power back. He gets it. He didn't get it. Uh, he gets it, meaning he got the ball. That official right there is marking the ball. And he's marking it short of the first down. Texas football. Maybe a foot. Half the stadium's going to go crazy. The burn orange side did. Now Texas is going to have the football in the middle of the field, basically. And here comes their man, Vince Young, onto the field. And the Trojan defense is beleaguered at this point. The ball will be snapped at the 44 of Texas. 
Now what do you do Dan you go go at him. Go yeah you put the ball in number 10's hands and let him win the game for you as he's done so many times. You can't keep laying back there in his own can you. Here comes the blitz. blitz. Dumped off. Rucker makes the play on Romox Taylor. As he accepted the short, trying to set a screen for him, but number 24, Justin Wyatt, was blitzing the quarterback. Watch Rucker, number 90 here. Three man rush here. As he goes to the inside, they add the two cornerbacks. What an effort by Rucker on the tackle. Second down and 12. They lost two yards. They've got some pressure on Young. He bounces the ball in front of the intended receiver. This time it was Brandon Ting. Well, you asked what they would do, Keith, on defense. SC, Pete Carroll says, I'm going to go after Vince Young. I'm going to bring all different types of blitzes. The first play, both corners came. That time it was the safety. Brandon Ting with the big pressure. You've got to get in his face. He's too good. This is the speed that Carroll needed to put on the field. Three down, one linebacker, seven defensive backs. Minute and 35 seconds to play. Watch coming again. They pick him up. He throws to the sidelines. The pass is completed, but it is short of the first down. That's Quad Crosby. And what do they say? A flag comes in, Keith. I think it's going to be a late hit against SC. Texas sideline celebrating during the play incidental five yard face mask the number 20 defense the five yard penalty results in a first down. Yeah. Watch Darnell Bing right there with the left hand. That didn't look all that incidental to me. <laughs> Holy cow. So the ball goes down to the 46 yard line where it's a first down for Texas on the Southern California side of the field. You've got a minute and 20 seconds to play in a ball game and a five point USC lead. It's young throws on a slant ball caught and that's the ball comes rolling out. No call that official there says ball down. That's the call minute now one minute to play Bing Thanks. with the hit he strips the ball later too late now, receiver was down Carter was down clearly Texas has two times out to play with there's been no mistakes on the snap tonight working out of the spread that means sin line has done a good job they're going to put it more time on the clock because of that play was originally 104. They get seven seconds back. Young going to run with it. Oh, he stepped right through a tackle. My gosh, he just stepped right through the hands of Colin Ashton. Yeah, he, he's not picky. He's, he's going to go after any of them. Linebackers, defensive linemen, Run over defensive backs, and how about getting out of bounds after picking up the first down? First down will put the ball, uh, put the markers on the 30 yard line of Southern California. And 53 seconds remaining. Saves both those last two timeouts. Trojans have got to make a defensive play or they're going to lose. Thrown short underneath. There's a man just wide open. Brian Carter and they're inside the 20 at the 14. Well that time Carroll decided to just come with the three man rush. No pressure on Young crossing route against the zone and again the clock stops with the receiver going out of bounds. Boy, wow. you, you've really got a lot of opportunities a lot of options here Keith. Remember David Thomas having a huge night. Lima Sweet big on the jump ball on the outside. They've got a first down at the 14 yard line. Incomplete. They went jump ball in the corner. Lima Sweet against Kevin Thomas. Thomas is 6 1 and Sweet stands at a 6 5 and he's a jumper. Just remarkably be remarkable to me to see these freshmen playing so well. That's what Kevin Thomas is. 
Pretty good throw. Gives his receiver a chance, but Thomas beat Swede to the ball. 39 seconds. Gonna run it. Gets inside the 10 to the 9, and the clock keeps going. 30 seconds, they've called timeout. And they got to get in the touchdown because of a couple of missed pit kicks by David Pino. He missed a PAT after the fan of touchdown in the first half. Then in the fourth quarter, the start of the fourth quarter, the first play misses wide right. That was when SC had a 24-23 lead. Remember, Dusty Magnum last year won this game against Michigan 38-37 when he hit a field goal with time running out. The timeout belonged to Texas. Each team now with one remaining. All-time win streaks, of course, Oklahoma 47, Washington at 39, Yale twice 37, Toledo 35, and Southern California 34 with Miami and Penn State. Or that's 10, I guess, way back when. But Nobody wanted to play Yale back then. No, Pudge have a finger in that punch. They beat you up. <laughs> Ball is off the nine. Where it is third down and five. They get a first down if they can get to the four. But they've only got 30 seconds left. Up to the Trojan defense now to preserve the streak. Incomplete. That was a good defensive play on Lima Swede. Again, it was a true freshman, Kevin Thomas, who flashed in front of Swede. May have knocked that ball away, but he certainly distracted him enough to he couldn't haul it in. Fourth and five. I kind of feel like Joe. I'm too old for this. <laughs> Fourth and five, the national championship on the line right here. He's going for the corner. He's got it. Vince Young scores. As we said, Keith, you can have the perfect defense called. You can force him out of the pocket, but you're not going to beat him. Invincible. Well, like Yogi said, it ain't over till it's over, but it certainly looks like the Texas Longhorns are going to walk out of here, and they're walking out on the words of Mitch Young, who said they were going to prove they were the best team in the country in this game. And right now, they're standing on it. And this is a huge two-point conversion. 4 two. Runs it. And made it. So it's been the Vince Young show when it came to crunch time as Texas goes to a 41 38 lead with only 19 what does that say 19 seconds to play clock didn't move on that play that's extra point is probably not going to thank goodness for SC Matt's daddy in the crowd knowing it's a tall order to give the uh, Texas offensive line some credit too. Vince Young thrown 40 passes tonight, zero sacks. He's rushed for 200 yards and three touchdowns. Now Reggie Bush will drop back. And let's see if they'll kick to it. I don't believe I would. Now I'd put it on the ground. Put it on the ground. Make it difficult to uh, pick up. Put it down there in the open space. Now they've got it. Got a lateral back to it. No chance. 16 seconds. Here we go. They're coming hard. Line 
Kovic shoves it ahead to Bush. Got a block. Goes down and out of bounds, stopping the clock at eight seconds to play in a ball game. What that did is that gives Leinart a lot of opportunities here. The problem for SC, Mario Danello does not have a real big leg, but Troy Van Blarkham does. He made a 43 yarder earlier in the game, did Danello, and he's getting loose on the sidelines right now. The ball is resting at the Texas 43. They have no timeouts to work with. Eight seconds is not very much. Leinert runs away from the pressure. Now he's got to throw it and throws it high and out of bounds and the game is over. Texas has defeated Southern California 41 to 38 to win the national championship of college football. This is win number 800 for the University of Texas Longhorn. And a classic. Lift up all, to all the hype, all the buildup. Incredible effort by all these young men. Well, Vince Young then stepped beyond the pale. He's out there somewhere by himself. <laughs> there are the two coaches. Great respect they have for each other. Here is Todd Harris. Well, Pete, you told me eventually it would have to come to an end. What was the difference tonight? Well, we couldn't stop him when we had to. You know, we had plenty of chances to. And and the quarterback just ran all over the place. He's a fantastic football player, and he made the difference, you know. He threw the ball well enough, but more than that, he did it with his legs, you know. I mean, how, how classic was it that he ran it in on the last play? So, uh, it's a fantastic job by Texas. We gave him everything, you know. We really we really had a shot to win this game and felt like we should have won it, but we didn't, you know. So, uh, this is their night, you know. Hats off to, to Mac. He did a great job. They have a fine football team. You know, it's, it's been wonderful doing what we've been doing. Uh, it, it's, it's too bad it has to end, but if they, somebody's got to get it, they deserve the heck out of it. We give it to Matt. At the very end of the game, you had a timeout. Did you want to save one timeout if they had scored? Yeah, yeah, we had a little problem. On the, uh, they were there going for two right there, but uh, you know, we didn't get it done. Thanks, Pete. He's a class act, Keith. Now here's John Saunders. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, on behalf of City. And ABC Sports, congratulations to the national champion, Texas Longhorn. Here's a Tournament of Roses president, Libby Wright, to present the trophy. Congratulations winning the 2006 national championship game. And now here's Mike Snyder, president of ADT, to present the ADT National Championship Trophy. Coach, Coach, congratulations. We have ADT Security Services Worldwide, our 8 million customers, our 40,000 employees, our family of authorized dealers, our parent company, Tyco International, and the American Football Coaches Association. It's the ADT National Championship Trophy. A teenager talk about what this means to the great state of Texas well with with saying I'm a I think you can tell they're all here John but first let us thank uh, from all the Texas fans our staff and our football program let's congratulate a great SC football team for 34 straight 
and two national championships. And then secondly, John, what it means to, we want to thank the Rose Bowl, what it means to us, it's been a long time. There's a lot of passion, a lot of pride. I'm proud of these kids. I'm proud of our coaches, high school football in the state of Texas, but we love our fans and they love it. You having any fun? I'm getting ready to. We now want to hand out the most valuable player award trophies. We're going to start with the offensive player of the game. Is there any question that it is Vincent Young? Yeah, that's yours. Now, Vince, I know we talked when you were in New York, and I know you were very disappointed not to walk off with the Heisman Trophy Award. I think you like that piece of crystal a little better, don't you? Oh, it's so beautiful. Hey, don't y'all think that's beautiful right there? That crystal's so beautiful. And it's coming home to Texas. It's coming home all the way to Austin, Texas, baby. Are you going to be back to try and make it two in a row? Got to work hard and get better, and we'll be back. Wherever we got to go, we'll be back, baby. All right, Vince, congratulations. And now the defensive player of the game in a very offensive-minded game, but Mike Huff, who came up with huge tackle after huge tackle and game saving plays. Your defense was what was talked about before the game that USC had not seen a defense like yours, and I think you guys proved it tonight. Uh, we knew USC was a great team, they had a great offense. I mean, they played hard, they showed us things that we hadn't done before, but in the end, we prevailed. Mike, congratulations. Thank you. And congratulations again to the Texas Longhorns. Right now, let's go back up to Keith Jackson. Thank you, John. There's the agony of defeat. And there's the joy of victory, and I bleed back. I think she's ready to begin. Well, they should rejoice in Texas. They earned it. Well, Keith, this has uh, been an awesome championship game, a privilege to do it, a real privilege and honor to stand next to you and call this great one. Well, it's been all my pleasure for the ladies and gentlemen and the whole crew, everybody who worked so hard all season, know you are appreciated. And we will wish you all a happy new year and good night from the Rose Bowl. <laughs>